We're live in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen of the United States of America, this is your president broadcasting to you live from the White House. I'm here today to convey to you an important message concerning our national security. 36 hours ago, there were reports of a virus outbreak in the outskirts of New York City. As it stands, there's been 500 casualties and over a thousand people have been hospitalized across the nation. Specialists are still unaware of the severity of the pathogen, but it is confirmed that it is an airborne virus. It is highly recommended that you all stay inside your houses until the entire thing has been neutralized. I would, I would like to personally convey my condolences to the families of the, of the deceased. months of the death of our president. My name is Dr. Sabet Kasouf and I seek refuge in an abandoned garage near a hospital. Billions have died around the world, but I believe that there are other survivors. I'm currently working on a cure to, to help. <laughs> your name and age to the camera? I'm seven and I'm 19 years old. And what's the last thing you remember? I was at a refugee camp and then people started dying. So I ran away from there. And I've been looking for some shelter ever since and I ended up here. Do you think you're infected? I really don't know but I feel really sick. I have trouble breathing. I have headaches. And I have a bit of a fever. And <coughs> the condition of my patient has worsened. He's unconscious. And I believe the virus is spreading all over his body. I have no other choice but to inject him with the cure. It may save him, it might kill him. I don't know, but it's the only solution at this point. The cure is based on a technique of RNA interference, which involves neutralizing the virus through the injection of double-stranded RNA. I hope it works. Here goes nothing. It's nighttime now, and the patient is heavily sedated. 
when the treatment is happening, I've decided to document what's happening on the biological and genetic level. Our interference involves the silencing of specific genes. It happens when double-stranded RNAs are introduced into a subject, in this case, Seb. The way it works is that these double-stranded RNAs will be cleaved into single-stranded RNAs called small interfering RNAs. These small interfering RNAs, hopefully, will bind to messenger RNAs responsible for protein synthesis. What we're trying to get here is the silencing of the virus's messenger RNAs. Therefore, we're trying to inhibit the protein synthesis of the virus. If we could achieve this, then this cure could save millions of lives and repopulate a world that has been destroyed. The subject's been unresponsive for several hours now. I've categorized this experiment as a failure. There's nothing left to do but to dispose of the body.